And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Jinx. All right, so this is going to be our last Jinx deck of the day. Um, so far, so good. All of our, our Jinx decks have looked very solid. Um, this one's going to be, again, the same kind of PNZ cards as our last one, as the Azir Jinx. Um, you know, like the we still are going to have our discard uh, package. We're going to have Sump Worker and Iterative Improvement. Um, so same kind of package there, but we are going to be playing, um, suit ups. So that's going to be the, a card that's going to be the difference. Um, suit up is going to be great, of course, with flame chompers. Um, that's going to be a big part there, but then also just really good with like some of these smaller elusives and just smaller units. Um, so we're going to try suit up, um, you know, like shadow, you know, suit up in a shadow assassin or even like a green glade duo set it to four, four first. You know, flame chompers that kind of stuff and then we're also gonna be playing lulu for our other champion so with ionia ionia is bringing along lulu that can support the flame chompers make it a 4-4 you know basically turn it into screeching dragon almost um then you know our shadow assassin our one extra one drop is going to be sparring student which we can play a good amount of units in a round and so could uh, buff this thing up we of course can also use like our suit ups and stuff on the sparring student, make it a four four, and then it will still also grow. Um, you know, it could be like base four four, and then grow plus one plus one after that. Um, you know, our pouring cannon will make daring poros. That's another great card to suit up or support with Lulu. So that's going to be our deck. So we'll try it out with uh, Ionia and Lulu. Let's see how it does. Lulu Jinx. Okay, so we got Aurelia Azir. A couple Ionia decks. Going at it. Let's see. Mulligan, Mulligan. Because, of course, suit up, you really want to play it for two mana, not four mana, if you can choose. I also incentivize to look for another way to get, you know, to get more sump workers out there. When you have Sump Worker, you also don't really want to um, play anything for one mana, because now I can have Iterative Improvement plus... Kind of surprised no attack there. I think it's worth playing the improvement and getting the, the plus one, plus one. I could just play the normal one and save two spell mana. But I like it. I like getting the plus one, plus one. All in the shoulders. Double sparring student is frightening. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Next time. Yeah. And <laughs> That's pretty scary. I'll just take it. This only sa saves three li or two life right now, but we could probably you know be able to save more life than that later. Um. Ah. That, of course, makes the sparring student way too big, but that's also something that's kind of a problem because that not only keeps the sparring student alive, but that's also something I don't get to kill.
So what are they doing blocking the Shadow Assassin? I really hope we top deck get excited. Like, what was that block? We said we dance together again someday. <laughs> we know it would be like this. What's today's lesson? My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. This is going to be difficult to stay alive. It'll be very difficult to stay alive. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. Because basically all of these are lethal. We have to all of those block. All right, now we go to one. And so we're gonna have to trade away everything. Everything's lethal attacker. And just doesn't doesn't matter where I block it all. Um, I guess the only important thing is that we have four power block here. Besides that, the rest of these don't matter. But I need four power on both of, both of these, so that Azir is going to die. Basically, they can't keep Azir alive. Oh. All right, we need to just top deck. Get get excited. Let's get excited. That won't do it. Is there any way to to create? There's not any way to create a some a super mega death rocket, right? Because if I if I play the jury rig first and then Jinx, we just have a leveled up Jinx. If we play the if we play the Jinx first and then jury rig, yeah. So there, it just it's not possible. Well, that's pretty sweet. All right, so we got to draw Get Excited or Jinx. We have two draws. Also, also they can't have, obviously if they have Blade Dance, we lose, we can just pass. Good. All right, here we go, Get Excited or Jinx. There it is, there's a Jinx. It is Jinx day today. Now they can still stay alive, of course, with the Nopify. But we have a shot. There we go. Jinx is get excited. We are one and O. And really, that was my opponent's fault. I had that one attack, like where I attacked with like two Kyrian Sumpwork, or like two Sumpworks Posse and a Shadow Assassin, and they blocked the Shadow Assassin. They just like took three extra damage they didn't need to. Whoa. We got here. We got a Yasuo deck. Yasuo Leona. Yasuo Leona usually plays very good at defense. Mulligan, Mulligan. Uh, even the rummage. We can send that back. I don't really have any other option besides discarding another urchin, right? Because I don't, I don't want to discard some worker. And obviously, we're not discarding Jinx, so I think playing that out on round one and being able to attack is is important. Think you're fast? Cute. All right, double Green Glade duo can be awesome later. Like, this could even be, like, triple green glade duo later. It could be pretty awesome. Rude. Yeah, um... To, 
find the earlier ones, head on over there. That's where you can find all the decks, and there's the Callista Jinx list will be right up there. Um, I pro like, am I going to be open attacking? Am I going to be open attacking? I guess so, right? Then next round we're gonna try to like open attack with these other elusives. Ours is the one true light. Follow the wind, watch your back. Alright, just playing any daybreak didn't Leon is not leveled up yet, so like just playing a daybreak doesn't wind have sun something. Yasuo is super scary, right? I wasn't. That's Yasuo is the card that can kill me, right? Because it can, it can just remove everything if they have like a whole bunch of stun. That should just be one stun. Two? Oh, two. Because the, the yeah, like this the Sunhawk is one, but yeah, the the Leon is only one by itself. Yeah, like they got they got exactly what they what they need in this matchup with Yasuo. Cause I don't think there's any like there's certainly nothing else in their deck that can beat us but Yasuo with our elusives. But we shall see. kind of game. It means everything else is lethal. That means I have to block with Jinx now. Try to keep up. Yeah, good hand. Good hand. That is a uh, very impressive hand. So I'm at three. We still have this if they don't have any other stun. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. They don't have fast speed stun. No, just just take it. Okay, so this is four damage, right? Like, so the playing the jury rig was important for the Green Glade duo to get four damage in, so it does put them down to three. So we still have the option of, or like the ability to top deck and get excited, right? So we're not playing this Flame Chompers because we need to top deck, get excited. Oh, that's not get excited. All right, we got Yasuo. <laughs> Yasuo can just high roll and beat everything. All right, first time today playing against Targon Demacia. This is this is definitely the region combination that I was kind of scared of because they have such good defense just in general with the Jinx decks. But we had been dodging Targon Demacia all day. That's gone. That's gone. They're like a sharp sight deck, also. Like this, this is probably not going to be good for us. All 
Alright, so we traded Jury Rig for Sharp Sight. That's a wonderful trade. And got a couple of damage in on him. Another day guarding the walls. Alright, we'll go Jinx. I guess Lulu. Yeah, this is actually a better spot for Lulu. So things a four five. Okay, so this is uh, three four five six seven. I either make it. All right, so we either make it eleven and they go down to seven, and then just challenge over here, or I can challenge like this, and they take. And they go to 10 instead of 7. But then the... this, But then the Shivana actually has more damage on him. Probably just want to just put him down to... 7. I think we just put him down to 7. He's basically making this a 5-6 or a 5-2. Either way, it's devastating. Her light is our sword. Well, that's not good. Radiant strikes. Now I take to the sky. Very glad no single combat. <laughs> Everything's better with company. Says you. My faith protects me. They don't have removal. We're gonna have gonna have a, a good hand. Um so if I I play Shadow Assassin, then we draw a card, but then we just have to discard that card, or we could just discard the Shadow Assassin um, and just save spell mana. I think I'll just do that. We're discarding that, whatever that card is anyway, we're discarding it. Right now, if they, if they don't have Sharp Sight or Single Combat or anything, I have 8 Elusive. That's 8 Elusive right there. I tried to give them, yeah, I, I gave them, like, the opportunities to play, like, other blockers and tap out. But they kept the 5 mana available, which you'd think would be for a concerted strike, but maybe not. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't attack Jinx into, like, if they do concerted strike and then, then block with Shivana. It just can't be worth it. What are you doing? They just chose death? Shows death. We are two and one. Thresh Nessus. Alright, we're hoping that we our elusives can just kind of uh, get through all of the blockers that Thresh Nessus usually puts together. I probably should have... I don't know. I still kind of feel like a mulligan Poro Cannon, though. Because, you know, we want our champions. We want our powerful cards. Death 
Suit up. You must know me, little one. You must. No place to win. All right, Reaper gone. But then again, you know, like now the the three one gets to block the four three, but still that's you know not bad. Like our free jury rig, but then with the suit up, can take down a three one and four three. That's not a bad trade. What's today's lesson? Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Gotta hate merciless hunter. <laughs> You gotta hate Merciless Hunter. I get punished for playing this sparring student. Because if I didn't, I'd be able to get excited to play Shadow Assassin. I could see discarding Shadow Assassin there to, you know, really help make it easier to level up Jinx, because the Shadow Assassin does make it difficult to level up the Jinx. Because Super Mega Death Rocket. Looks really valuable right about now. So yeah, I guess maybe I should just or discard this Shadow Assassin. Another suit up. Good to play this Jinx after they attack with the Thresh, though, also. Get that out of here. And it looks like we're going to have to discard the Sump Worker. Because I want to wait till after combat so I can play Jinx and then play Urchin. Jinx is leveled up. If I play if I play Urchin right now, then, you know, maybe we don't get to play the card that we draw. And our Jinx won't be leveled up. Possible they just pass back to me and don't attack? I guess that's possible, right? Nah, they're too greedy. So you're at one. It's like those are good blocks, but that levels up Thrash. Yeah, you have to kind of assume the thresh is gonna the thresh is gonna be leveled up anyway. What's up, saucy mailman and crew? We are having Jinx Day today, and we've been doing great with Jinx decks. We did classic discard burn to start with, but then we just built a Callista Jinx and an Azir Jinx. Went did really well with both of those over in ranked, and now Lulu Jinx has been doing pretty good, doing okay. So we're taking Jinx to Masters rank. All right, we're going to. Uh, Final answer. We're just going to block like this. Just save it to life. Left foot, left foot. With this scuttler. This Thresh is going to level up anyway. You would think. But I'm hoping Super Mega Death Rocket just clears out all these other things. What'd you do? To, what'd you play today? Saw some mailman. What'd you play? Oh no, we can't actually cast that. And get a super rank death rocket. We can't play it. Now it's a party. The order rewards its faithful. Lulu? I I can still cast Super Mega Death Rocket this round, but Um Yeah, we still can. Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Rude. Yeah, the shadows. The, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm that big into these shadow assassins. They've been 
Yeah, they felt a little off. Playing some Taric decks and some Treasure decks. Love it. Lease, lease in Treasure deck. Love it. Unfortunately, I didn't get that uh, Flame Chompers in play, because, right, like, the Lulu plus the Flame Chompers plus the Super Mega Death Rock, I, like, all that could have... No, that would not have killed the Thresh, I mean, because the Thresh is about to level up. And we're, of course, doing this first to clear up blockers, but now then I'll give them the opportunity to play some blockers right back, but still, it's, it's better to do it than not do it. All right, so they've been very patient. They got lots of mana, lots of cards, so now I put everything out that I have out onto the table. So what have they been so patient for? The first wave. Okay. So I have two 4-4 four, four elusives. This one's a fighter. Got a gift for a Nectin. Alright, this is where we top tech another Jinx or get excited. Perfect. Saucy Man, Man's feeling better. Good, good. Get excited! Dude, we're getting the raid luck. Getting that luck from the raid. Okay, it's not over, though. Because as we've seen, Ride and Negation... Ride and Negation's a thing. All right, so question is, is do I fire it off? I think that answer is no. I think we just put another Jinx in play. Right, because if it is right in negation to save them. And just playing this first, because even if they use like Black Spear removal immediately, I can go Poro Cannon discard and then we make the Super Mega Death Rocket. But if they don't, then I get to go Urchin discard. Which, maybe it's better just to go Poro Cannon discard anyway and just get some elus some more elusives. No, you can only get one rocket per round. Oh, I guess you're saying that... Yeah, each round the first time you enter your hand. Alright, well, they did just draw Black Spear, because obviously they didn't have it before, otherwise they would have killed my Jinx before. So, that. They need, like, three things to stay alive, right? Like, they need Black Spear first, which they got that. Now they're going to need Ride of Negation. And then after that, then they're going to need Withering Whale. So they need, like. Or. I guess they could maybe try to, get, like, have something that gets this nasty up to 13 and then Atrocity, but. Okay, no Ride of Negation. So, moot point. We're three and one. With a Lulu Jinx. So yeah, we're even if we lose this, we'll have winning record across the board with Jinx. Um, and it's felt like... I guess we keep Lulu. Maybe we'll keep Get Excited because it kills both champions. Maybe I don't keep Lulu. Yeah, I guess we do. I do like Iterative Improvement. Will we win? Yes. I do like Iterative Improvement with Shadow Assassin. It's felt like all 14 games that we've played today, yeah, you know, before this one, we've had very good hands and like just put up a good fight in every single game and like three times our opponents just had great hands and they beat us. And that, you know, that'll happen. And that 
or four times, sorry. And so we've gotten four losses, but um, in general, been very, very happy with what's happened so far. What does their hand look like? That's static Shock? Like, I just played this 2-1, and they discard Static Shock. Alright, that's gotta be Thermogenic Beam. Right there, that's gotta be Thermo Beam. Yep. Alright, so we will not be able to Iterative Improvement that. Of course, I have the sump worker. The sump worker is not a bad card to iterative improvement either. Lulu's a four four. Why would you calling strike a four four? Yeah, I got a lot of damage in, and remember, like, they don't play any Nexus healing. So getting all that damage in is very important. So we both have four cards left in hand. We have no two in play also. Striking looks and stunning whiffs. Gloves off. Suit up. Just that little bit of protection you need. And I want to get the attack immediately to get the one damage in on for the Thorn of the Rose. Even though, yeah, we like have to assume that's going to die, but still, just attacking kills the Thorn of the Rose. Which is important. So, of course, playing Jinx first... So, the problem with playing Jinx first is I play Jinx first, then they can kill the Jinx before I'm able to level it up. But I want I want just Jinx to be leveled up. Next round's around eight. No, suit up doesn't work before iterative. Like, iterative doesn't make an exact copy. And so that's why. If I if I played Jinx, they would have just tri beamed the Jinx and then it, I wouldn't it would not have been leveled up. No more wasting time. It's fearsome. Why do, I should just be challenging both of them. What am I doing? I should just be challenging both of them. Yeah, like that's what I should have done is just challenge both of them and then attack with everything. Like I don't. Why did I not do that? I don't know. That's definitely what I should have done. Cause see, okay, so basically, I'm worried about like playing this Jinxes get excited because I'm thinking that they're going to be using removal to kill this Jinx, and then whenever they do, I want my backup Jinx. Even the 
This is the weirdest game to, for us to finish up on. This is the weirdest game. got Kahiri'd with the, the fearsome of Kahiri. So yeah, they were holding Mystic Shot, if I, but I still, I should have challenged both and then attacked with my Jinx and my 2-1, because then they probably have to Mystic Shot the 2-1, and yeah, like that, yeah, so that was a, a big mistake by me, but I don't, you know, I'm not sure if we win, but I would have put myself in a better position. Everything else I did Kind of today. I feel like I played really, really well today, except for that was last game. And, uh, you know, messed that part up. But yeah, we got Kahiri, just 4 4 fearsomes. They were just a little too big. The pseudo didn't really do very much until that last game, but it was good that last game. Um, with that being said, I used suit up a couple of times to save cards from removal. But maybe if I would have used suit up. Come here. No, I guess they were both good uses of suit up. Like, I didn't use suit up on, like, the Flame Chompers. Which is really what it's there for. But I kind of, like, I had to save the Sump Worker because then the Sump Worker killed the 5 1. Yeah, it was just kind of weird timing. Like, maybe if I, like, maybe I shouldn't play the Lulu on round 3. I didn't get, like, I mean, I got a lot of damage in with the Lulu, but I didn't get to uh, Flame Chomper as a Lulu. So, um, how it worked out, like, at, also at the very end, like, I, I played the Lulu, yeah, you know, like, round 7 and kept Jinx in my hand. And then they used the tri beam on to kill my Lulu, where then we drew another Jinx, and it was the worst draw that we could have in our deck, and it just made our hand like super awkward, right? Where like if I just play the Jinx for like obviously we don't know we're gonna do that, but that was like the one draw that really ruined my hand, and uh, that was a big reason I think why my opponent won. But like if I if I play the Jinx first, they kill the Jinx, then the next round I play Lulu and Jinx because I would have had a second Jinx, <laughs> you know I didn't know that at the time, but. That, then that would have been a lot better because then my my second you know at that point they're not killing the Lulu the Lulu's supporting the Flame Chompers it's killing the Kahiri right like then things are going great so um, but you know that's all that's obviously complete hindsight <laughs> complete hindsight like I think you usually play the Lulu out as bait and have your Jinx be the last card anyway uh, we'll take the winning record though so there we go three and two jinx just looked awesome today like i said like even like that game like our, our deck was doing good stuff our opponent beat us um but our deck was doing good stuff every game like all 20 games our decks was you know consistently you know putting putting ourselves in position to win sometimes our opponents had better hands sometimes they won um but we were you know consistently there as far as like which ones i would i was really impressed with the Callista version and also the Azir version, like, and so like the records kind of show that, but like I, I was very impressed with both the Callista and the Azir versions, um, especially because you know I just built both of those today for for Jinx Spotlight Day, and they they both performed really well. All right, so there we go. That was um, Lulu Jinx. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course as always, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really liked this Champion Spotlight Day because this this was a big success with our decks and our records, I think, especially for a champion that we don't play very much. We started with Jinx had no mastery, and then we've gotten to Jinx has level two mastery now. You know, we got through level one and, le and level two now. Um, so we leveled up Jinx twice today. That was, that was pretty cool. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Lulu Jinx. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.